All right, so we are back with the parabola. It's, it's the same parabola from the last video. There you can see it. Uh, we have our directrix. We have our focus. It's marked F. Our directrix is marked D, D. We have our axis. It's marked C, C. We have our point P. This is the point that we want to draw the tangent from. Right, so it's point P, and lastly, we have a line at the top of the parabola, it's perpendicular to the axis, and it touches the parabola at the vertex. Now, this line is important, and you'll see why in a bit. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to connect F, F is our focus, so you connect F. To P. P is the point from which we want to draw the tangent. Excellent. So we do that. And the next thing we want to do is we want to draw a circle or an arc from the center of line FP. And the radius would be half of line FP. Alright, so I'm just going to draw a circle in this case, and my radius is going to be, or the diameter is FP. Good, now what we do is, from P, we draw a line to where the circle cuts the perpendicular to the axis. So, in this case, where it, cuts, where it cut the line, we label those points as A and B. So very simply, just going to draw a line from P to A and another line from P to B. Now the line that goes from P to A or P to B, that line will be our axis. So I've gone ahead and drawn the line. This line runs from P through A and you can see that it touches the parabola right at this point so this is our point of tangency and um that's it that's how you get the tangent now if p were a bit okay let me just label the tangency line let's call it t good now if p were a bit closer if p were a bit closer in to the axis of the parabola, we would be able to draw another line which is PB and PB will give us the option for two axes. So you can either use PA or P, not, sorry not axes, tangents. You can use PA or PB as tangents if P is a bit closer to the axis. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already.